Hey everyone, it's Miss Clement again. I just wanted to go back and give you a video on this um, Secret Annex tour. It is absolutely amazing. You want to follow this because it's going to give you a pretty good indication of how the Franks and their company lived in the annex. It wasn't just like an attic that you and I are used to in this little, little room in Butter House. This gives you a whole visual representation of where they lived and who got what room and so on and so forth. Click this, it's going to bring you to this website. Once you click on this website, you're going to want to go down and it gives you more information on everything of what it is and the front section also is super super important of where it all is but we're going to get to all of this so you're going to want to hit step inside when you step inside it's going to bring you to an actual 3d room that you can tour so when you get here you're going to see this little thing pop up at the bottom this is the bookcase room um, Again, it's the revolving bookcase on the landing concealed the entrance to the secret annex and they have the bookcase. It's where they are behind it. So if you got here, this is super cool, guys. You want to hold down your mouse. When you hold down your mouse, just move it around the cursor and it literally gives you a 3D point of view from what you would be seeing if you were here. It's amazing. You want to click on these things right here. Um, it just gives you more information about how it worked. Here's a video. Um, then if you click this part, it'll bring you to the next room, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to show you this option right here. So click this first. This is the secret annex right here, everything that we are going to be looking at. But I think it's important that you see that this would really be like the front entrance right here. So this building, let me see if I can go back and get it. So if you're on the street, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing this building right here. And that's what this is. Same street, you're just looking here. So if you go through here, this is the attic on the inside. This is again, this is Mr. Frank's office. Just brings you a couple different places in the front of the building. So let's just click this in the office. So this is what you would say. Just from the outside looking in, it had just pretty much an office. You're gonna meet these people as you read and going back and forth. But Really, really important, I think, to you for you to see the beginning, like the front of the entrance first. So when we say that they were in the quote-unquote attic, it's not like they're like at the top of this little, little building and they're all crunched together. No, they are right in here in the secret annex. So if you click that side, this is where they are. They're staying in a section like this. And we're going to go through each of these rooms one by one. So, again, let's go back. And then we're going to step inside the attic again. Yes, let's go to this room. Okay, so again, hold it down, move your cursor, and then you can see a 3D area. Let's go through. Again, holding down, looking around, you can see exactly how the house is laid out, um, what rooms are where. So look, if you see that if you click on these, you're going to have a little check mark next to it. That just means that you've been in that room. I've looked at this tour like three or four times because I just think it's so cool. But each room gives you a whole different information. So if you click on the stairs, it just gives you more information about Anne on the stairs. If you go up, we'll do that in a moment. Let's go to this room. So this is Otto, Edith, and Margo Frank's room. So look, you can see that they have a little table, a day in the secret annex. You want to click on these. These give you so much information about them and everything that was going on in that space. Again, you're going to get a little check mark in the top right corner, and that's to let you know that you've already viewed this, and it'll help you. In each room, there are different check marks that you definitely want to pay attention to. This is Anne Frank and Fritz's room. Again, looking around, you can see everything. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I don't want to click on everything because I don't want you, I don't want to give everything away. But let's see, there's her diary. So we're getting all of this. This is a huge beneficial benefit to you that you can see literally 
where everybody goes. And if you get confused, that's completely okay. You can just go back and click. Like, okay, you're at the bookcase, you're at the entrance, you're at Otto and Eve, you're at Anne Frank, then now you're in the bathroom. Um, if you want to go to, like, Mr. and Mrs. Van Dam, you can just click it this way and go through and make sure that you hit every room because it can get a little confusing. There were a couple times I was like, was I in this room? Was I not? So this is helpful to you that you can just go back and forth and see where you have been, where you have not been, and it'll help you. Okay. But again, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can click on that too. But to get the layout of the building can be helpful. Let's go back and forth to see everything. This is Peter's room where he kept all his belongings. This is his parents' room. See, they have a cool kitchen. Oh my gosh, sorry. Ah. Okay, so that is pretty much the layout. Again, this is the annex of where they're going to be. It will really help you if you can look at this first so you can understand that this is the back of Mr. Frank's office. Okay, not just an attic. They're not just in a little room all stuck together. There is a good amount of space, but not a lot by any means. Okay, let us know if you have any questions.